Thank you for joining the Paul Robeson House of Princeton for our June 2023 podcast. We are very happy to share our single goal with you to make Robeson a household name. June is Black Music Month and Pride Month. On the eve of Juneteenth, we amplify the social justice mission of the Paul Robeson House of Princeton and celebrate the contributions of LGBTQ plus people as we look back on the historical legacy of one of the classical genres of black music in America, the Negro spiritual. We pause to recognize the talented composer, musician, and Robeson accompanist, Lawrence Benjamin Brown. We will read biographical notes from the Lawrence Brown papers currently archived at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture of the New York Public Library. Josh Peter the Battle of Jericho, 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 Jericho. Lawrence Benjamin Brown was a composer, pianist, and arranger. Born in Jacksonville, Florida on August 28, 1893, Brown was raised by his father, Clark Benjamin Brown, son of a former slave, and his stepmother, Senia. Brown's natural mother died when he was only three years old. While still a small child, Brown received his first music lessons under the instruction of William Riddick. Exhibiting remarkable talent, he was sent to Boston to study. In 1920, further studies took him to London's Trinity College. One of Brown's teachers in composition in London was Amanda Aldridge, daughter of the great tragedian Ira Aldridge, the first Othello. Brown's natural ability to compose and arrange, as well as sing and play the piano, made him an outstanding asset to the music world. In 1916, Brown made his debut as accompanist to the famous tenor Sidney Woodward. Soon after, Roland Hayes, another renowned tenor, selected Brown as accompanist, and the two toured abroad from 1918 to 1923. During their professional association, Brown was awarded as great an acclaim as Hayes. In April 1921, Brown and Roland Hayes appeared before the King and Queen of England at Buckingham Palace. Brown spent the fall of 1925 in folk song research, delving into the history of Black music. His research took him deep into the southern parts of the United States, where he was so inspired by the songs of the workmen on the wharves and in the fields that he began to arrange numerous traditional spirituals. More than 30 of these arrangements have been published. Brown is known for seeking to preserve every detail of black music in rhythm and content. Spirituals arranged by Brown include Joshua Fit the Battle of Jericho, Steal Away, Swing Low Sweet Chariot, Lil David, and Ezekiel Saw the Wheel, which have become traditions in folk and religious lore. In addition to the spirituals, Lawrence Brown also arranged compositions for cello and piano and violin and piano, as well as the voice. He played some of his arrangements for Beatrice Harrison, acclaimed cellists, at Wigmore Hall in England in 1923. Paul Robeson was the first to use Brown's arrangements of spirituals at a recital in the Greenwich Village Theater on April 19, 1925. This event marked the beginning of a long and successful association which lasted for over 35 years until 1968. The spirituals arranged and played by Lawrence Brown and sung by Paul Robeson, sometimes with vocal harmony from Brown, have become legend. The Robeson Brown recitals were performed in New York, London, Paris, and the British Isles. The pair appeared before royalty, including the King of Spain, the Prince of Wales, and the Duke and Duchess of York. Brown and Robeson also recorded together for RCA Victor Records. Brown and Robeson toured with the USO camp performing for troops abroad. Lawrence Brown never married 
and died in Harlem Hospital on December 25, 1972, at 79 years of age. He had spent the last 47 years of his life in Harlem. The Robeson House of Princeton will join our community partners for the reading of Frederick Douglass's What to the Slave is the Fourth of July. See the Princeton Public Library for more information. We invite you to join us again next month when we check in on our Robeson tomato campaign with local farmer Tamia McQueen. Thank you for listening.